G'day people, have a look at my backyard, there's a lawnmower out there, and anyway, today's word I'm going to teach you is the word mateship, for which is uniquely used in Australia, and most likely New Zealand, because New Zealanders are Australian wannabes, no, just joking, New Zealanders are fine, so anyway, this word mateship is used a lot in the Australian military, especially the army, and it just means a shared adversary or solidarity in a area that is both common to people. It generally applies to males mainly. I haven't really heard it used in female relationships, but Mateship applies like when a friend will do almost anything for you, almost anything, probably even dying, to help you out. Like if, if you get thrown in jail for being drunk and disorderly, they will come and pay your bail and get you out of prison before your court case. And maybe they'll ask for the money back, maybe not. But to be a pure mate, you will not ask for the money back. Um, the earliest reference I have for this one is uh, from um, Russell Ward in 1958, a book called The Australian Legend. But I have not read that book. I don't read Australian literature. I don't read literature at all unless it's over 500 years old. Because I'm an old bastard. And in a 1999, yeah, they had a referendum to see if Australia wanted to be a republic. And John Howard wanted to put mateship in the preamble of uh, I think the Constitution. Yes, in reference to mateship, but some people were um, against that because it mainly refers to Australian white males. Mm to the exclusion of other ethnic groups and um, oh maybe not other ethnic groups but any person who is Australianized and it stops Australian culture would generally understand what mateship is. Okay now I was talking about the uh, military well mateship is um well it's very important there because in that situation you have our life and death situations occurring and you need to rely on other people, other soldiers, even those you have not met, to back you up when something bad happens. Like in a firefight, um, <clears throat> when you need to get something done, you need mateship, which is very cooperative. So people in mateship will cooperate with each other and they will understand what needs to be done. And there is, maybe there might be a request, but generally they are sort of independent, but they still cooperate as a unit. Uh, that's about much I, I can say about mateship. While people do understand it, it's not really used much in daily conversation. Um, so, to use it in a sentence, mateship, um, you'll be using it as a third person, not a first person. So you won't be referring to yourself, basically. You'll be saying, um, the mateship in the army is very binding. Or those two people are mates and their mateship is very strong. So you wouldn't actually really refer to yourself. Okay. So I hope you find this video informative. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I like to give you examples of Australian slang that is currently used and currently a lot of it is actually not used anymore because languages evolve and the younger generation drop old